Imagine pulling up to a Tesla supercharger in your Hyundai, your Ford, or even your Rivian, plugging in, charging fast, and hitting the road without a second thought. That might sound like a fantasy, but it's quickly becoming reality. For over a decade, EV drivers have faced a problem that no one seemed able to solve. Too many charging standards, too few reliable stations, and endless adapters. Chademo, CCS, NAX, each one promised simplicity, and each one somehow made things more complicated. But now, everything's changing. In just the last two years, nearly every major automaker has announced plans to use Tesla's North American charging standard, better known as NAX, the same plug that powers over 50,000 Tesla superchargers worldwide. That means millions of drivers across dozens of brands will soon share the same charging language. It's the end of charging chaos and maybe the start of a new era where Tesla's network quietly becomes the backbone of the entire EV industry. So in this video, we'll explore why so many car brands are switching to Tesla's system, how it happens so fast, and what it means for the future of driving. Because whether you love or hate Tesla, the plug war might already be over. Before Tesla opened its network, owning an electric car could feel like a gamble. You'd find a charging station on the map, drive miles out of your way, and when you finally got there, it might be broken, occupied, or using a plug your car couldn't even fit. That's because the EV industry grew fast, but without one shared standard. Early models from Nissan used the Chade Mo plug. Most newer EVs from Ford, Hyundai, and Volkswagen relied on the CCS connector. Tesla, meanwhile, built its own slim, efficient plug and tied it to its exclusive supercharger network. On paper, all these systems aim to move us toward the same goal, a clean, electric future. In practice, it was chaos. Each brand built its own map of chargers, its own payment apps, and its own cables. Drivers had to memorize acronyms just to refuel their cars. That confusion became one of the biggest reasons people hesitated to switch to electric. A gas pump works the same everywhere, but an EV charger didn't. And as more automakers jumped into the market, the problem only grew. What the industry needed wasn't just faster charging. It needed one language, a connector every car could understand. And that's exactly the opening Tesla had been quietly waiting for. While other automakers argued over standards, Tesla did something different. It just built. Starting back in 2012, when most car companies were still experimenting with their first plug-ins, Tesla began rolling out a network of sleek white and red chargers across America. They called them superchargers, and they weren't just fast, they were reliable. Every station was integrated with Tesla's software. You could navigate, pay, and charge all from the car's screen. No apps, no cards, no guessing which plug worked. It just connected, and it worked nearly every time. That reliability turned into Tesla's quiet superpower. Today, Tesla operates more than 50,000 superchargers worldwide and has some of the highest uptime rates in the industry, over 97%, according to the U.S. Department of Energy's data. While other networks struggled with outages or incompatible cables, Tesla's system ran like clockwork. And for years, that network was completely off limits to anyone who didn't drive a Tesla. The company's slim, lightweight plug was faster, cleaner, and easier to use than the bulky CCS ports most other EVs relied on. But as Tesla's footprint grew, something became clear. The rest of the industry couldn't keep up. Drivers wanted that experience the ease, the speed, the dependability. And soon, Tesla realized its private network could become something much bigger than a perk for its own customers. It could become the backbone of the electric era itself. For over a decade, Tesla's superchargers were an exclusive club. If you didn't drive a Tesla, you couldn't join. That all changed in late 2022 when Tesla made a move no one saw coming. 
the company publicly released the design and technical specs of its charging connector, rebranding it as the North American Charging Standard, or NAX. Tesla invited every other automaker to use it. No patents to fight, no red tape, just an open invitation to plug in. At first, the industry didn't quite know what to think, but in early 2023, Ford shocked everyone by announcing that its EVs would gain access to Tesla's supercharger network using a simple adapter, and that future Ford vehicles would be built with Tesla's plug standard built right in. Then came General Motors, Rivian, Volvo, Polestar, and Mercedes-Benz. One by one, the biggest names in the auto world lined up behind Nax. By the end of that year, the momentum was impossible to ignore. It wasn't just a handful of partnerships, it was a full-blown industry shift. Each new announcement meant millions more vehicles that could soon tap into the same fast, reliable network Tesla had spent years perfecting. And with every automaker that joined, the pressure on the rest grew heavier. Suddenly, Tesla's once private network wasn't just a Tesla advantage, it was on its way to becoming a national standard. And the result? A domino effect that would change the entire EV landscape. Once Ford and GM joined Tesla's charging alliance, the rest of the industry had a choice, adapt or get left behind. By mid-2024, that domino line was falling fast. Hyundai, Kia, BMW, Mini, Rolls-Royce, Honda, Acura, Jaguar, Toyota, Lexus, Nissan, and Mazda all announced plans to use Tesla's NAX connector for new EVs starting between 2025 and 2026. Even Volkswagen Group, which includes Audi and Porsche, confirmed it was actively evaluating the switch. It was no longer about brand loyalty. It was about survival. Drivers didn't want to guess which charging network would work on a road trip. They wanted the simplicity of knowing if you see a charger, you can use it. Governments noticed too. The U.S. Department of Transportation began encouraging open access charging standards for federally funded stations, and the SAE International Group officially recognized Tesla's design as SAE J3400, making it a legitimate industry standard, not just a Tesla invention. Meanwhile, Tesla expanded its network at a record pace, installing superchargers that could handle both its NAX plug and CCS cables during the transition. The result? For the first time in EV history, the US charging map started to look unified instead of divided. And that shift set the stage for the next phase, where one plug, one standard, could finally power the future of electric driving. The reason? Efficiency. Tesla's connector is smaller, lighter, and can deliver up to one megawatt of power, enough to support ultra-fast charging for both cars and heavy trucks. It's also already proven in real-world use, with hundreds of millions of successful charges logged. That means future public stations funded by federal programs can install NAX ports without worrying about exclusivity. If that sounds familiar, it's because we've seen this movie before, when smartphone makers eventually standardized around USB-C. Once consumers experienced one cable that just worked, everything else faded out. That's the trajectory the EV world is now on. It won't happen overnight. Millions of CCS-based cars are still on the road, but each year, the share of new EVs using Tesla's plug grows. And as those numbers climb, one thing becomes clear. The future of charging is simple, fast, and finally universal. But this isn't just a win for technology. It's a turning point for drivers. Because for the first time, charging anxiety might actually be coming to an end. For years, range anxiety was the biggest reason people hesitated to go electric. Not because of how far cars could drive, but because of where they could charge. That uncertainty is finally disappearing. For drivers, this shift means something powerful. Freedom. You can plan a road trip without worrying about which plug your car has. 
you can pull into almost any fast charger and know it'll work. And the best part? The convenience doesn't just make EVs easier to live with, it makes them more appealing to buy. Analysts say universal charging access could speed up EV usage rates dramatically in the next few years, removing one of the last real barriers to going electric. So yes, charging anxiety is fading fast. But behind the scenes, another story is unfolding. Because while drivers win big from this change, Tesla might be the one cashing in the most. Tesla didn't just solve a problem, it built a business empire around the solution. By opening its supercharger network and sharing the NAX design, Tesla turned competitors into customers. Every time a Ford, Hyundai, or Rivian owner charges at a Tesla station, Tesla gets paid. The company earns revenue from each kilowatt hour delivered, just like a utility company. Think about that. A few years ago, Tesla's charging network was seen as a perk, a benefit for Tesla owners. Now, it's becoming a profit center, feeding the company recurring income long after the car is sold. It's one of the smartest plays in modern automotive history. Build the infrastructure first, then license it to everyone else. Other networks like Electrify America and ChargePoint spent billions competing for market share, while Tesla quietly positioned itself as the default option. And now, as automakers rush to use NAX, Tesla doesn't have to sell them cars to make money. It earns from the energy those cars consume. It's the same strategy that made companies like Apple and Amazon dominant, create the ecosystem everyone relies on, then profit from the traffic flowing through it. Tesla may not own every car on the road, but it's quickly becoming the company that powers them, and that's a level of control that changes everything for the rest of the industry. Tesla's rise as the charging standard didn't happen in isolation. It sent shockwaves through the rest of the EV industry. Most chose to adapt. While other networks manage a few thousand fast chargers each, Tesla has tens of thousands, carefully mapped and maintained, with built-in payment integration and near-perfect uptime. Ask any EV driver which chargers just work, and Tesla's name always comes up first. That reputation isn't easy to buy back once it's lost. So, while other networks may survive, they'll likely coexist under Tesla's shadow. Think of it like Android and iOS. Both exist, but one ecosystem dominates the experience. In EV charging, Tesla has quietly become that ecosystem. But what's happening in the US isn't staying in the US. The rest of the world is watching, and some regions are already considering following suit. In Europe, Tesla's superchargers already use the CCS2 plug, which became the regional standard years ago. But with the success of NAX in North America, international regulators and automakers are paying attention. Japan, South Korea, and even parts of Southeast Asia have begun studying the NAX design as a possible future standard. Meanwhile, Canada has already followed the U.S. in using it for new federal charging projects. If that trend continues, Tesla's connector could quietly evolve from a U.S. advantage into a global default, one that defines how the world powers its EVs. The future of driving is already being wired, one plug at a time. In just a few years, road trips in electric cars could feel as effortless as filling up at a gas pump. One connector, one network, no confusion. Tesla's plug has become more than hardware. It's a symbol of a simplified, connected EV era. Charging your car might soon be as universal as charging your phone. And while the shift won't happen overnight, the direction is clear. The world is moving toward a single standard, and Tesla's design is leading the way. Every major shift in technology starts with one simple idea, and in this case, it was a plug. What began as a Tesla-only connector has become the backbone of an entire industry. For the industry, it means consolidation. And for Tesla, it means influence on a scale few could have imagined. Whether you drive a Tesla or not, chances are your next EV will still connect through Tesla's system. That's how deeply this transformation runs. 
the plug war isn't coming, it's already ending, and Tesla didn't just win it, they defined it. To stay informed on the latest updates, breakthroughs, and industry shifts, click the next video right here. You'll want to see what's coming next. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to subscribe, tap the bell, and join us for more videos on the future of cars, technology, and innovation. Until next time, drive safe.